Hello Retro Gamers and welcome back to Retro Games Forever. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe if you want to see all future retro gaming videos that I do. Right, I'm back with emulation setup. I'm going to be showing you how to set up the Mattel Intellivision on Retro Arch. If you're new to Retro Arch, I'll leave a link in the description. I have done a video how to set up Retro Arch for all the Android devices. Right, so first of all, we're going to need BIOS files. Now, these are the two BIOS files you're going to need. So once you've downloaded these, you need to move them. So we'll go over to our main storage. And you'll see RetroArch. Open that up. System. Put them in there. I've already got them. Right. Once you've done that, you're going to need your ROMs. Right. These are the ROMs. They can be ROM and they can be int. So don't worry if you come across a few different ROMs where you see ROM and then you see int. You're thinking to yourself, which one does it run? It runs both. So don't worry about that. So put them in a folder. Now I've got these. I've got them there, as you can see, in Television 24, which is the year 24, because I keep upgrading my, my ROMs. Put them in a folder. It can be your main storage or your SD card. Now, once we've done that, we're going to open up Retro Arch. So the first thing we need to do is click on Load Crawl. Sorry, go to online, online updater, click on that, go to core download, this will bring all up the different emulators, the cores, so you're looking for this one here, Mattel in television, so click on that. Once you've done that, go back. Now, I'm using a Bluetooth controller. If you're using, if you've not got a Bluetooth controller and you want to use on, uh, but on buttons on screen, I'm getting my words out then. Sorry. Go to user interface. On screen display. Click on that. On screen overlay. And select this so what that'll do is it'll put on screen controllers for you but I'm going to take that off because let's see I've got a Bluetooth controller now so once you've put your BIOS files where I told you and you've got your ROMs now we need to scan now, I'm going to do a manual scan here because I've got a lot of homebrew games so if you've got homebrew games it will pick them up manual. If you do a normal scan, it won't pick them up. Where with this, it'll pick every ROM up. So we're going to go to manual scan. Content directory. Now, storage, that's if you've put them on your device. If you've got an SD card, it'll pop up here near the bottom. So I'm going to go to storage. Sorry. It's this one. Storage emulated. Click on that. That's if you're on your system. And there it is. Click on that. Scan directory. Go to system name. in television click on that default call click on that then scan right so that's done only takes seconds come back out of that now the icon for the in television should show up 
Also, if you're new to emulation, I have done quite a few emulation setups for other devices. So take a look back. I've not covered everything, but I will get through to doing every emulator on MetroArch. So, here we have all the games. If you click the top button, which is X on my controller, this will come up. So you're not scrolling through, so I'll just press S. Now I'm going to show you Super Mario Brothers. This is a new, this is an old brew game. So like I say, if you do run a manual scan, a normal scan, sorry, it won't show it up. We'll click on that. Now what I want to show you, if you press your left L1, that brings up the buttons which was on the controller. So you can move it, keep your hand on it, you can move it along. You don't need this on this, but a lot of people can't get this game running. All you have to do, this game uses controller 2, press select just once. As you can see, and away we yeah. I'm going to come back out of this. Back out. Like I said, some stampede. There. Now controls, you don't really need to fiddle about with any of these. Like I say, always remember you select swaps the controls. So if some games don't work, just press select on your controller, which that will then change over your controller. Some games use port one, some use two. So if you can't get that game running, just press select once. Like I said, once you've done a manual scan, all the games will show up. Basically, it's quite easy, but like I said, if you're new to emulation, you won't know about your BIOS files. Also, that gets a lot of people with the select button changing over the controller. Like I said, your ROMs, I can't really say where you, but where you can get them from, but a quick Google search, you'll find, you'll find packs there with everything in. Like I said, some of the old brew games, quick Google search, they're not hard to find. Now, I hope you've enjoyed this video, remember if you're new to this channel, give us a subscribe, give us a like, if you come across any issues with this emulator, just put it in the comments, I'll get straight back to you. Now, thanks for watching, enjoy your gaming, see you soon.